Hello, short video today showing you how to add Unity's new UI system to your game and to make a simple counter for your game time. So to start off, I like to make my new UI with a separate camera. Instead of using the 3D camera for my scene, I like to create a new UI camera just to keep things nice and separate. So I'm going to create that now, just a regular old camera uh, from the Game Object Create menu. And we'll notice right away that it may or may not change our view. Um, the, the way cameras are drawn is based on depth. So the closest camera gets drawn first. So you should probably notice if I'm changing my depth around, you'll actually see my view changing, right? So that's changing which camera order is drawing first. It's like layers in Photoshop kind of. So I want to make sure that my UI camera draws on top of my in-game camera. I'm going to test by playing because sometimes it switches around when you actually go into game mode. I think we're clear though. Uh, I'm going to rename this camera to UI camera just so that I can keep things straight in here. And I'm going to change what it actually draws here because I don't want this camera drawing my 3D scene. That's my main camera's job. So I'm going to change my culling mask. And culling mask means, you know, it's everything that this camera is actually going to draw. I'm going to change it to nothing. So when I change it to nothing, I get nothing but this blue. Um, that's not very useful either. That's because the background of my camera is set to this blue color. If I change from skybox to depth only, then anything that this camera is not seeing just becomes transparent and whatever camera's underneath will be able to draw to the canvas all on their own. Okay, uh, and in calling mask, I don't want it to display nothing because then I can't see my UI. So I'm gonna turn UI back on. So quick recap of that, let's make sure that the depth is popping this camera in front of our 3D camera, making sure our clear flags are set to depth uh, and our culling mask is set to UI. Okay, so now we're ready to create an actual UI interface. So under the game object UI menu, we get all this new Unity GUI stuff. I usually recommend creating a canvas first and then creating whichever components you want afterwards. If I were to just create a text right now, it would create a canvas and an event system with it. But I'm gonna take things one step at a time, make sure I've got a handle on everything that's going on and just create my canvas first here. Okay, so in my canvas, instead of using screen space overlay, I'm gonna use screen space camera and give it my UI camera to use. Uh, I'm also going to change it from constant pixel size to scale with screen size. So this will be very nice for if we're changing between resolutions, it will be able to adapt to those resolutions very well. Okay, now we should be clear to add some, uh, some actual elements to our UI. So I'll add a text. Okay, so we can see it's very, very faint down here. Um, can expand this text component, change some settings a little bit so that I can actually see it a little bit better. Uh, and I'm going to right align this the center, uh, bold it, make it a little bit bigger, and I'm going to use these uh, alignment tools. So these anchoring tools are very, very useful. If I resize my camera right now, I'm on free aspect, this is going to kind of, it's centering base, or it's, it's moving based on the center of the camera, which is not terribly useful. But if I set the center to bottom right, and I switch to the actual UI move tool up here, um, and I move this to look like it's in the bottom right. Now when I resize, it's going to hug that side and it will actually resize to keep that alignment from the, the left and the bottom. So that's what we'd like to keep. I'm actually gonna switch to the top right just because that will be easier to see right now. So I'll change to the top right for the anchor and I'll actually move this up to the top right. Cool. So now in terms of scripting these UI and working with it in code, um, what we need to do, we need to import the Unity Engine UI library in any new script that we want to reference the UI. Um, this does not come in by default, so you'll have to add this manually just using unityengine.ui, and that gives you access to things like text. So this is a pretty simple script. I don't want to walk through all of it, but this is a reference to the actual text object that is on this object on this game object uh, and I'm going to get that reference when the game starts using get component. Um, I could also just leave this blank and connect the text through the inspector. I calculate the minutes and the seconds 
and then I just set countertexts dot text setting to be a string equal to the current time. So I'll add that script onto here, give it a play, and there you go. We have a, a counter. We have some text that is being edited by the engine. Um, we can also go into project settings time if I was unsure of whether or not the, the minutes function of this worked, for example. And I could change my time scale to something faster, like 20, to see time count up quicker. Um, and I can see that the minutes are indeed counting properly. Um, that's it. I'm going to keep this one simple. Just a simple little uh, script on top of the text object. This could be on another object. Just make sure you hook up the inspector reference. Um, setting up a separate UI camera and a canvas that is set to use that camera. Thanks for watching.